Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on too, so you don't miss out on the next episode of Brockton County in Ontario Theme City. And make sure to hit the like button too. Like button helps the channel a lot. Uh, welcome back to the city. Last episode, we did a metro revision. We kind of added in a new line. Uh, two, actually. We did an extension of one <clears throat> and then one brand new one. Now, oh, what a great shot. Look at that. Holy cow. Um, now we also added some express lines right at the end. Uh, and everything seems to be running smoothly. I've been doing some adjustments and no issues. So it uh, seems like we're good there. I was, al I was always a bit nervous sharing uh, a metro line with two different, like an express system and uh, like a normal system. But it seems to be working out pretty nicely. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And I know the last two episodes have been pretty long. So we're gonna try to keep that uh, a bit shorter today. Just gonna take a sip of water. Holy cow! Whew. All right, so an early sip of water. Uh, so since the last two episodes have been pretty pretty long, I'm gonna try to keep this one uh, at a much more reasonable length. Now there's also been a couple speed throughs as well, uh, unanticipated because they went too long. But I need I can't just stop. I need to finish it. Uh, especially when we're doing a project like transit revision. So that's why uh, there's been a couple more unanticipated speed throughs, if you will, and in the past, uh, in the last little while. So um, let me know if, uh, if you like that kind of thing, um, because then I'll try to incorporate it a bit, bit more in some of the videos. But we are going to be building uh, some suburbs today in an area. Well, it's, it's not really a suburb. It's more like the residential extent of the city. Kind of like the uh, yeah low density residential part of the city. It's not exactly a suburb in the sense that it's like far away and you need, need to drive in or take long transit to get here. So or to get into the city. So uh, let's hop out of this and let's look at where we're going to be kind of doing this today. So I wanted to start off uh, out here because this is a pretty cool build that we didn't really showcase uh, a lot of uh, because we moved on to other things really quickly. But this is kind of where we're going to be building today. So we have this giant blank space pretty much uh, it's got highway 19 it's got I think this is Steve McQueen Boulevard and then we also have this road which is King Street North so you know it's a pretty major thoroughfare and then we also have this amazing tram junction and some pretty cool opportunities to get uh, tram access through here we can also get you know another bus lane or two through throughout this area but uh, you know yeah I I think this is a, a great spot to build, a residential area. So uh, well, last time we were building it this way, we built a medium density build and it got a bit out of hand. So it's fine. The height is fine, but that's going to be the extent of high density. We're going to start going into the lower density stuff from over here. Um, we might get just high density stuff along the outside but pretty much nothing beyond Algonquin Street will uh, be high density. So yeah, that's what, that's what we're gonna be doing today. We have tons of residential demand. If we look at our uh, unemployment rate, it's 4%. Uh, we have been deleting some buildings for uh, industry, so there is some industry demand. Um, I did play around with stuff over here and I uh, <laughs> this, this station was a bit funny to build. <laughs> so. Uh, we got those buildings back in, but I don't think I added buildings back in over here or a street. So I'm just going to make that really quick connection over here. And uh, then I will kind of just leave it uh, to rezone up. So I know we had it like that before. And then we had an office right here and an office right there. So uh, I believe the largest an office can be is four by four. So just to make sure that it's actually just one building, we'll do something like that. And uh, yeah, we'll just let them pop up uh, when they're ready to. But uh, other than that, let's kind of dive into the other. Was there anything else I need needed to do it this way? No, there wasn't, Steven. Uh, we also kind of rezoned a couple of things over here uh, because of the metro stops. And yeah, everything seems to be working pretty good. If we go into uh, the metro tunnel view as well, uh, I didn't actually spend the time to realign them perfectly yet, but I will. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of what we did. Pretty cool. This view is actually pretty good. And I know 
at the end of the video I tacked on uh, a CSL map view, CSL, is CL, whatever it is, <laughs> of uh, the transit lines. But this is, if you missed it, if you skipped because it was right at the end of the video, I don't blame you. <laughs> Uh, so it was a pretty long video, uh, but yeah, this is where we got to. So we're going to be building out here today. We might squeeze in a stop right here. Uh, maybe. I don't see why not. Uh, and then if we have time, or in tomorrow's video, we'll be doing this. I suspect that this is going to be tomorrow's project. We're going to be out here in the Holly District. And then we'll look at kind of blending it into the Municipal Service Station area as well. So that'll be tomorrow's video. Yeah, we'll just say that's tomorrow's video. And we'll focus on just this today. So... It's pretty great that we have this cram line right through here, but we need to look at getting the roadways through. And uh, one thing I really want to do with this build is I want to get at least two major roads across. And the reason why we trench this is because it's going to be really easy to bring roads uh, across it, but we're not going to be able to do that until about right here. If we look at our gradient, yeah, so this is a meter, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so right about here is probably the only place, we'll, or the first place we'll be able to get a, a bridge across. So we're gonna be pretty limited uh, in some of our resources here. Um, and let's do something a bit unique with this. I'm just gonna try to find it. Yeah, we're gonna use one of these bridges here. Let's get out of this view. And let's find our first kind of point of access across. I think we're gonna go right across here because uh, this is where it goes from being a straight road to a curved road. So we'll go right across it. We're gonna use a unique bridge. That one might be <laughs> not the right one. Three lane viaduct. Uh, four lane European stone bridge. This one might, might work. Yeah, I think we can make this one work. So we'll just throw Anarchy on and we'll just do that. I'm gonna grab these two. We're just going to oh, make sure you have NumLock on so you can <laughs> use a page up, page down, Steven. Uh, and we'll just take it up to about there. We'll wait for a tram to come across. Yeah, that's more than enough height. We could actually probably go lower. But it's a pretty cool little bridge, so that's why that's why I was looking to, to use it here. So let's grab that again. And then we can just go a touch lower. Nice. And then I'm just going to hold Alt down. I'm just going to scooch it over a little bit. The Dixon Bridge. Yeah, nice. So, I mean, we didn't, we didn't have to do that, but I feel like this could be cool if we kind of change things up a little bit around it. And this is also going to be probably a stop. So why not, right? So this means that we're gonna kind of go with a four lane avenue right across here. Uh, it doesn't have to be a four lane, but that's what we're gonna roll with. So let's go with uh, a grass one. Yeah. And we're going to take it straight ground level. Um, hmm. Now which road should we connect it to? I'm going to say the one in the middle here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it with a, a curved road here. And let's make sure we're actually at the proper height. And I believe that's about right in the middle here. We're slightly off. Okay. So just go one more block. And now we're also slightly off. Okay. So we're just going to need to figure this out because it's a, it's a bit tricky. There we go. So we'll get a nice clean curve in here. And then right where these two roads would kind of have to be at their pinnacle, we're gonna get uh, another, is that the right word? I don't know. But we're gonna get uh, another connection right through here. So let's just kind of guesstimate that it's about right here. Fantastic. So we're just trying to make something a bit unique here. Um, it's, gonna be, it's gonna look pretty cool. And then right through here, we're just going to come straight across. I'm actually going to go from this side because I want to make sure that the zoning stays clean. Let's just make sure that the zoning did. I think it broke right here. So we'll have to watch out for that. 
But yeah, pretty neat. Okay, so then uh, we're, gonna just, we're just going to ignore this section for now. And we're going to focus on this interior here. So, with this cool little curve system we have going on here. You know, this section could probably be three lanes. So yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't we use some asymmetrical roads? Uh, we'll go right through here, grass. And then we'll just throw that on this end, other way around. Yeah, that's good. Because I anticipate a lot of uh, people trying to, to you know, from, that they're living here, they're probably trying to get in different directions. So now we have dedicated uh, turning lanes. And then if we're looking at this road right here, this road should probably be a bit bigger. Now I'm not sure if, yeah, we're gonna destroy stuff if we go any larger, but we could use an asymmetrical road instead. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's set up this junction really quickly. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't mind it being uh, a light, but the other ones shouldn't be the lights. So let's just turn those ones to yield. Yeah, okay. And then this one, we'll just make this a yield for now too, because uh, we're not going to be doing anything out this way for a little while. Um, okay, so uh, now let's look at getting in another bridge across. So. This one's going to be kind of a bit more of, I always mix them up, collector arterial, but it's not going to be exactly a road that a lot of people are going to be, be living on. So let's grab my favorite road in the game, which is this one. And I think we're going to come out of this road right here. Yeah, let's go about... 10 units, yeah, I think that works. And then we're going to just curve across to about here. Uh, if you're wondering what the plan is, uh, you know, there isn't exactly the biggest plan. Oh, whoa. I had no idea this bridge, this road had a bridge like that. fantastic holy cow now this doesn't need to be this bridge and we're gonna change it right away but that is good to know oh my goodness oh my goodness <laughs> okay well big plans in the future for this bridge I love it I, I had no idea that there was a, a bridge option for this road I mean obviously there would be but wow 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 and then we're just going to go back. That, that caught me off guard, that was fantastic. I just kind of clicked bridge to see, and wow, that was fantastic. All right, and then we're gonna click home, throw it in. So this is just like a bit of a connection uh, over. Um, and there's not really any other uh, ways to get into the suburb. It's not exactly the heaviest trafficked area, but, we'll, but we will most definitely get another connection onto the Duke of Edinburgh Parkway. Uh, all right, so now we're looking uh, into this area and over here. I think we'll look at finishing off uh, this suburb. Now, do we want to get access or do we want to make this the only kind of way in and out of this residential area? I don't really mind that, to be honest. Hmm. Pedestrians can use uh, University Avenue right here. Yeah, let's let's just kind of leave it. Uh, so let's grab some roads. Let's just go with our basic suburban road. And we're going to try our, our darndest. I'm just going to use this as a connection for now. We're just going to try our darndest to kind of keep the core grid alive and well without... Whoops. Without... Sorry, we're gonna try to keep uh, the grid alive and well, but uh, using kind of its uh, shapes, if that, if that makes sense, uh, to build the uh, the kind of the wonky suburb itself. So uh, we're just trying to figure out where exactly it would be best to connect uh, these two roads together. 
And it seems like right there is probably the best option. It's not, it didn't end up being the, the cleanest little connection here, but I think we'll be able to uh, redraw this in, actually. Let's just, let's just do that. Okay, so that should be fine. Why is that all funky? So that should be good. Oh, it's funky over here. All right, well, this is not what I was looking for. We'll just kind of wing it then. So I believe we're going to be... Yeah, it's all funky because of that. Now it's this. Okay, well... It's gonna be close enough. All right, yeah, and there we go. That, now that's funky. What is going on? Okay, that's straight and that's straight, perfect. So we'll throw that down, and what we're gonna do is we're just going to uh, get some road connections off of it. All right. And let's throw this one off right here to the end. And then let's get a nice little curve right through here. Like that. And then uh, just another little pathway down. These are gonna be used to uh, connect to this. This tram line's gonna be a bit of like a walking path. All right. So we have two ways into this little development here. And then right in the middle here, let's try to see if that's about the middle. Yeah, it's close enough. Uh, we're going to take this right to about here. And uh, then we're going to need another pa uh, connection right through here. That's good with me. And then again, we're going to need a walking path connection. Um, actually, we're going to delete that one. And we're going, going to put this one right through here, like that. Okay, and then we'll get a nice uh, road right through here. Yeah, and we'll take this down through here, like so. Yeah, you know, a bit funky, a bit wild. Um, alrighty, so now that we've gotten this... Oh, we didn't do this side. Um, okay, so this is going to come right straight through. Alright, and we're not connecting onto this one. So we can easily get a couple of uh, roads through here. Uh, I think we'll connect right here. And I think I'll leave that one open, actually. Kind of flip what we did on this side. Hmm, actually, no, no, let's, uh, let's bring this one down. Like so. All right. A bit wild, a bit funky. But that's what I like. <laughs> um, right here, I don't know, I think. There's a couple of cool options we could do. We could maybe just make it a, like a high school campus or a, like an elementary school campus. Or we can just get a simple road connection off of it and get some housing. Uh, it would be right here would be the preferable connection. Yeah, I mean, that works. And then let's just take the node removal, we'll remove that node. I don't really want a crosswalk there, but I think it'll be fine. Um, okay, so now let's get our services in, and we'll start with transit. Uh, so we're going to go into the trams, our tram stops. And is there a tram stop? No, did we, we remove them? Okay, so we are going to uh, add tram stops right over here. Okay, and then we're going to try to grab the red one them over here. It'd be nice if uh, 
Uh, if they were right under the bridge, though, that's what I was hoping was ha gonna happen. So, they're in between nodes. Okay, and they have to be right there. So, I mean, it's fine. Uh, we can definitely make this work. Um, all right, so uh, we're gonna need a pathway down here, aren't we? So we're gonna use these ones, the park paths, because uh, they conform to the terrain. Which is nice. <laughs> or sorry, they don't conform to the terrain. That's, that's what I was looking for. All right, so now they, they kind of look a bit more like stairs, whereas the other ones don't look as much like stairs, unfortunately. So I'm pretty sure that's exactly where the stops are. Okay, so we do need to scooch these ones over a bit more. That's fine. And let's just swing this out, just so we're right on this crosswalk here. Okay, and then this one, go right here. We'll swing it out. Alrighty, so uh, we got that side in, and then we'll look at doing the other side once uh, once we start building over here. Okay, so let's look at getting some schools in. We're going to need a high school. Let's take a quick peek at where our nearest high schools are. So we have one over here and one over here. Uh, we don't necessarily need a high school. If you look at these high schools, this one's full. This one's pretty full. Though I could see us needing a high school at this way because there's not necessarily one over here. There is one over that way, though. Uh, I don't know. Let's get one in. They're fun to build. Uh, so... I like using these larger ones for these builds. Perhaps we delete this road right here. And we build this high school off of this road. Yeah, that's a cool little build. Alrighty, and let's... Uh, every high school needs a sports stadium or a sports field of any sort. <laughs> that's kind of how I how I do things. Uh, the baseball diamond is usually the way to go for me. But there's not exactly the best spot for it, so we might uh, roll with some different items in today's video then. Okay, this doesn't need to be there. So we got some basketball courts. The soccer field could be... Ah, it's just a bit too big. Got the hockey rink. Love the hockey rink. It goes so well with the the university, or it's the high school, in my opinion. Um, okay, so we'll do that. Mainly because it uses uh, the pathway assets. Oh darn, I was hoping that was going to fit. Let's see if we can get this parking lot right there. And then if we can scooch this, nah, it's not gonna work. Okay, we'll just delete the parking lot then. And we'll try to scooch this over in a way that it makes it look like it's a bit more a part of the school. But if we put it over this way, then we get those connections with this road, which is pretty neat. So I, I do like that a lot. Um, let's get our pavement tool. And any, anytime I do a suburban build, I love just looking to detail the, uh, the high schools up. Because there's a lot you can do, and I think I've talked about this before, but I wish... I wish we could uh, do what we do with the universities with the high schools, too. The campus DLC. Um, okay, so let's get a little pathway right here. Alright, it's a bit funky, but that's okay. And then we need a pathway across here. So we're going to use the zoo path. Because, you know why, it's the best path in the whole game. So let's go into bridge mode. I guess there's no bridge. So we'll just do that. Right across. Ah, uh, no, it's not gonna work for this, unfortunately. Um, let's try the amusement park fence. Right to that here. Yeah, there's no support, but at least it looks good. 
uh, and then we'll connect up right about here. Something like that, and then we'll swing this one out, like so, so that it's a bit more fitting for the build. And then I realize now that I didn't do this right. So let's just fix this really quickly. Ground level to here, elevate to here. What? Okay, that's fine. Adds a bit of a unique uh, look to it. Uh, those paths don't exactly work, or sorry, honestly the paths don't really work for me, so uh, let's just go down to this one. Oh my god. Yeah, there we go, that's a bit better. Alright, so we got the high school in here. Uh, I think we can do a bit more with this build, so uh, let's try and take the zoning off of some things here. So zoning, there we go. Right click to take the zoning off. Taking the zoning off of the major roads. I think we'll even take zoning off of that road. I, no, it's okay. So I wouldn't mind a school over there, or some buildings over there. Uh, but uh, let's get kind of like a main pathway through here. So let's think about how this should work. Right about here. Here. I'm just going to pull this down a bit farther. I think we'll have to end it right about there, but we can just use our pavement fill to, uh, to blend it together a bit. There we go. I mean, there's enough parking already. We don't really need more. Uh, and then we'll make this whole section pavement. Um, and then what we can do is get some basketball courts and stuff right on this, can't we? What? I thought for sure I could. I, I you know, I have the Parkify mod and everything too. It's, it's honestly never worked for me. I don't know what it is. It must be like a mod conflict or something. Get two of these guys in and let's see if we can uh, get it to still kind of work though. No, it's too far away from the road now. Now it's okay though. And if we rotate it this way, yeah, it's gonna be too far away from the road. Okay, so we're just gonna go with one then. And then we're just gonna place. Holy cow. We're just gonna place it uh, in a bit better location. Okay, and then we can, uh, you know, we can always add in some some more detail to it uh, later in the episode, if we have time. Okay, and let's, I think we'll actually take some of these trees out. Okay, and then right along here, this is a bit of a weird little section here. We have a stop over here. We could also get a stop over on this side too. That could definitely be f efficient. So let's uh, let's try and do that. So let's just try and get them uh, to do the same thing. So we'll split up the, the trams so that they don't stop necessarily at the same place. But I think they'll they'll get backed up a little bit, unfortunately. Uh, and then now let's get some pathways uh, down. So we're going to use the same kind of idea. So we'll just go down to the ground from here, and then to here, from here, to here. And you know what? I think this should probably be elevated. That might look a bit nicer. So we're going with the impression that these are stairs. Because I don't honestly they stairs aren't in the game. It's a it's a bit weird. Like for paths, at least. Swing this out and over. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing. Swing it out and around. And swing it out. All right, so we got kind of like an interchange, really. <laughs> it's kind of funny. 
And then we can actually finally upgrade this section or downgrade it, whatever you see fit. And we can actually just throw some trees on it too. All right, so hopefully uh, people will be able to use that effectively. And uh, holy cow, I can't believe how fast time goes when I'm doing this stuff because we've only built the roads. We've only built the roads and uh, some infrastructure, really. So let's look at uh, elementary schools. So we got one over here. We got a couple. We definitely could use some more. So uh, that's what we'll do. Um, could make this kind of a bit of a campus area. So we could get the, we could almost fit it over here in this little section, but I don't know about that. Okay, let's get the elementary school right over here. And uh, let's get a park as well. So pretty simply, just the small playground is honestly good enough to make uh, an elementary school seem uh, a lot fuller than it normally is. Um, okay, so let's just grab a fence too. And I'm just gonna take uh, the forestry fence and we're gonna go from right about here. Yeah, right about here. We're just gonna go right across. All right, and then let's take a path. Let's go with the tree path. And right beside it, actually let's go with a not tree path because we're just gonna clip into the, the fence we just built. All right, there we go. And then let's just get some more trees. And then we should probably get a bit more pavement uh, right in here. Yeah, it's always it always connects funny, but yeah, it looks a bit nicer. All right, so right in this section, you know what? Let's go back to it. Sorry, uh, because we still have like fire services and stuff like that as well. So, you know, honestly, we're pretty good for fire. <laughs> we have some pretty poor coverage over here, to be honest. So maybe we're not okay. Um, maybe we can get a fire hall in this little section over here. Probably shouldn't be on this road though. And this is too far. Um, okay, so you know what? We're not. Uh, how about police though? Because I do notice that the police sign is yellow. And uh, we have a police station right there. Okay, so we're good. So now we just need to add in a library. And we're gonna go with the small town kind of library vibe. And we're gonna place it right off of the main road. Uh, right here. So we're gonna have uh, a small commercial little hub right here. Uh, just like that and we're gonna get a fence right behind it let's go with the farm fence all right uh, and then now let's look at the zoning of this area so let's turn on the zoning tool um, oh, there we go and let's take the zoning off of that road right there um, and then right here okay we already did that one okay and then right through here as well and then now let's get uh, some houses so we're gonna go with uh, low density residential right through here Take that down. Uh, no, no, it's okay. We don't need a house there. And let's get some forestry fence. <laughs> and we're just going to kind of uh, block this off a little bit because it's not exactly the safest uh, place. <laughs> All right, bit of a gated community almost. Uh, this does not need to be a light either. So we'll need to make sure that we can take that off. There we go. And yeah, this is gonna work out great. This is a light here though, that's fine. We got a crosswalk right there. Yeah, I mean, this is, that'd be a great place to live. <laughs> um, let's actually take off uh, a house right there. And we can actually just kind of make our lots right now, to be honest. And uh, this could end up being a pretty cool little neighborhood. Um, all right, so we're gonna take some trees and just fill in a little blank right here. Uh, right along here, 
I don't really know what could really go here. We could get, could maybe get a parking lot over here if it's not too steep. Nah, it is, it is too steep. <laughs> yeah, it's not exactly the best place to live. Uh, so what, or to park. Uh, so why don't we just get uh, some trees to fill in the space? This is a suburb after all. Not, not everything needs to be uh, filled in. Um, all right, so let's get a house right there and we'll kind of get housing uh, right along through here. Whoops, I realized I didn't turn zoning off on this little block. So we need to do that. Here we go. And I think we need to take it off um, all the way along here, to be honest. All right. And unfortunately, if we take zoning off of this, we're gonna lose these buildings. But um, yeah, I don't know if I can really, oh no, I can, let's put it back on. And I think they were both, they were all commercial, weren't they? Okay, so if I go into the zoning tool, let's click Z, there we go. Here it is, okay. And I go prioritize newer roads and then I click onto it. There we go, so you see the priority is changing. So it looks like I need to do this side too. And there we go, we're getting bigger lots. All right, so uh, let's continue zoning in with some residential and I guess we can put it on sim now. And we're gonna get some houses right through here. That looks like there's a connection there but we're definitely gonna need to get uh, connections or better connections All right uh, Let's actually take these off You know it honestly I say this a lot It's surprising me how fast time goes when I'm playing this game. Like, I honestly thought I'd be able to do way more <laughs> with this episode. Um, and clearly that's just not the case. Let's actually just go a bit more in the middle of this. All right. And, uh, you know, cause I, I like, uh, I really like doing these suburban developments, but uh, boy, oh boy, do they just, they take a lot of time. Okay, let's put a fence along here. Because I really wanted to, you know, focus a bit more on the detail of this build. But we might not get the chance, really. So what I'm doing is, you know, next time you're in kind of a suburb, maybe you don't live in a suburb, um, you know, when you're coming off of an, art of an arterial road and you're going onto, cl onto a collector, zoning doesn't really touch that part, right? And there's often just fences in people's backyards that back onto it. So that's kind of what I'm trying to uh, mimic over here. Okay, and then we'll have an access point. And we need another access point there, but uh, we actually haven't put the fences in yet, so. Or not the fences, the pathways in. So we're just going to use this basic path and just basically with anarchy on, just, just, just click it in as soon as it turns blue. Uh, that should work. That should work. It looks like it's connected. Uh, I'm, I'm still not clear on whether or not that actually does work or not, but let's go with the dirt path here. So it looks more like a desire path. Uh, let's turn node snapping off. There we go. So people have kind of snuck down and then we'll also do the same thing right down to here. Yeah. Look at that, people are already coming over here to use uh, to use it. Um, okay, so then let's uh, think about maybe getting this road to come straight across. Turn node snapping on. Let's make sure our guidelines are back on. Yeah, we'll get this road to come right through here and then what we'll do is we'll take the zoning tool and we'll end up turning zoning off of that road. 
So this way, uh, we can zone this up with residential. Let's take that off. Just get a house right there. Yeah, that's gonna be okay. And then we'll need a path right here. Fantastic. So I know this is a different fence than we were using before. That's okay. Holy cow. Just do that to kind of mark it off a little bit. And then actually we'll be able to squeeze in a fence right here. Which is pretty cool. We get a lot out of that one. <laughs> Both a lot and a lot. Uh, I won't worry about allotting <laughs> most of them. Uh, okay, right in here, uh, I think we can get uh, just a, perhaps like a small park. Ah, oh, this doesn't fit either. I was hoping that it would. Um, you know, there's, there's often cool things like this in the skate park. That we don't use as often as we should, I, I, in my opinion. Uh, let's get the skate park. Oh, there's a fence. Oh my god, what's happening? Okay. Hmm. Should it go off of this road instead then? No, 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 it's gotta go off this road. Why is there a fence? That's okay. <laughs> um, and it's also these ones. These ones are a bit, these ones are way too big. Sorry, that was just more fit the look of it. Uh, these tennis courts are just Massive. Uh, but why don't we get a basketball court in here? We'll use the one that goes vertical. Nice. That's the same one we used. Okay, perfect. All right. And then we're just going to pave in. I guess we'll pave in this whole section then. And I'll just try to... Uh, you know what? We're not going to be able to clean that up nicely enough. Then we'll get some trees right through here. Unfortunately, sometimes uh, you got to plant your own trees. <laughs> Especially when you're trying to get things into these corners. Okay. Yeah, looking pretty nice. It's coming along. Uh, we still haven't finished zoning, though. And it's already 43 minutes in. Like, see, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. I... I I can't believe it's 43 minutes in. Uh, time just really flies by, I guess. Should be good there. And then we'll get a pathway connection through there. And we, we're good down here. I believe people can use these paths. Yeah, it looks like they can. So that's good. Still haven't witnessed people be able to do that yet. Oh, look, look how many people are are using this. This is fantastic. Okay, so right in here, hmm, I think it's just got to be a park, right? There's, I can't imagine anyone living right there in that little section. Uh, it's got really good access already, so like especially down to the, uh, the tram, so I'm not too concerned. That's way too big, isn't it? Playground wouldn't really. I was hoping this was gonna fit. It doesn't really, so we might just have to make it our own, uh, or we just place a playground down like this. We rotate it so it fits as tight as possible. There we go. And then, how about we get a another path? Uh, why don't we just go with a dirt path actually so it's a bit more of like a desire path and then we're going to turn node snapping off okay and now we're back at a hundred thousand people nice we've been really fluctuating <laughs> oh whoa, that was way too big Alrighty, righty let's just smoothify everything like that and then uh, this guy here let's actually just lower it and then we're gonna grab this guy and put it to the same height. And why don't we actually grab both of these and just 
pull it forward a bit. Yeah, I mean, it's probably not the most, the safest thing in the world to do. That's okay. Um, okay. Chester Street, should there be housing on, on it? Uh, I say yes. Um, there we go. And we'll just fill in uh, the rest, so nothing there. But we can go back to our zoning tool and turn off zoning right through here. And then we'll go prioritize newer roads. I think that worked. It's just right in this little section that it didn't. Um, and that's okay. All right, so we'll throw that out. And you notice how I'm kind of just skipping the block closest to? Uh, that way, we can get like fences in through there. Uh, it also looks a bit neater with the assets themselves. Uh, I'm, I'm really picky with this, the way the zoning works, but uh, I think it's all for the best. So the reason why I unclicked that one is because if I left it open, um, it would either zone in a big one right here and then have a small house. So now it's kind of pushing for a two by three house right there. So right here, what I'm kind of thinking is, well, this one's pretty close, so we can either take this side off or we can shave this side off. So we're going to shave this side off this time, and now we have a big, a bit of a bigger lot right through there. Okay, and yeah, so in these little gaps, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to try and fill it in with some trees, and it's going to hopefully make it seem a bit more filled in once once uh, it's all complete. Okay. And let's look at how the zoning turned out over here. Yeah, so right in the middle here maybe. Maybe we can get a pathway, but I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Okay, so um, yeah, we're just gonna wait for this to kind of pop up. And let's get some trees right in here, especially now that things have zoned up. We can really look at just filling in the rest with some trees here. Oh, that's like a tree that popped up. Fantastic, and no one's moved in over here. The area that I thought people would want to move into the, the quickest. I mean, that's some prime real estate. This could probably be like a condo, like a, like a townhouse kind of area. Um, all right, so now that we got time, I guess we're not gonna really develop over here today, unfortunately. Um, uh, we can, well, first of all, we should probably run a bus. So, uh, that'll be important at least. So, we'll run this bus, we'll run it from... Hmm, well, it'll probably be somewhere over here. Uh, so we'll just get it to turn around somewhere random for now. Uh, like say, right in here. Uh, yeah, we'll just get it to flip around right there or something. But uh, I think in the future, this bus would continue down this road and then end somewhere over here. But right now, we're just getting it to stop right here. So it would have a bus stop right about here for sure. And then we'll have another stop right over here. And then this bus is going to run uh, down. And then once we figure out what's going on over here, maybe like a metro station, uh, then it's going to terminate in here somewhere. Okay, and that's gonna come back. And we're gonna do the same thing. Oh, uh, we'll get a junction right over here in front of the high school. And then it's gonna go down this way and then eventually over here. But for now, it's just going to stop right there. So that's gonna be a new bus. Uh, what is it? It's not 38, no way. Line name, ah, I didn't have it under the name. Bus line 59, there we go. So we don't really have a name for this one, so I'm just gonna leave it blank for now. And we're gonna make the color uh, teal, I guess. Uh, okay, and 
How many buses do we need on this? Six? Let's start with five. It's probably way too much anyways. But uh, that'll be helpful for people to get around and people are still moving in. All right, so that was a pretty good build. I think what we'll do is we'll look at getting some more road networks in really quickly. So then tomorrow's episode, we can move down into Holly Hill finally, or Holly District. Uh, what district is this? This isn't a district. Okay, well, I think what we'll do is we'll make this a, uh, a district right through here. We'll see what name pops up. Belmont Park. I mean, that's not too bad. Uh, and then this can also, this can be something different uh, or the same. We'll leave it to decide in the future. Okay. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty clean. Belmont Park. You know what? I think that's, that's not too bad. So Belmont Park, uh, I think we're just going to leave it for most of the policies, to be honest. There's tons of parks. So maybe we can just do this. Increases the parks and plazas budget by 20%. Uh, I don't like that part. <laughs> uh, maybe there's something in here. We could always do this high-tech housing, too, which increases land value, and it's not that expensive. Uh, and then small business enthusiast. Uh, there's only a couple businesses here. Um, and yeah, they're pretty cool. I mean, that's a pretty cool building, but uh, it's not exactly the style of building I was hoping for, so we'll delete them, and I'll be a bit picky with it as they pop back up. And people are finally moving in uh, over here. Okay, so... Uh, let's look at how this is going to work. Well, I think we're going to do something a bit similar to over here. So we got a bus stop right here. There's no connection over this way. Uh, I guess we'll have this right here. So then the bus stop will be in this little section. And then we can kind of tie in the bus stop with connecting up with that. Okay, so let's put the two back here. All right, that works with me. They're a bit off because the angle's different. And this is gonna be a bit more gridded apparently. But that's okay, we're kind of transitioning out of the city, right? So this guy is going to come up right to about here, and we're going to connect in with this one. So, oh, we're on a different angle. Interesting. So there's somewhere around here. Ah, this doesn't connect up straight with this. I see, I see the issue now that we've been running into. That's okay. We'll just connect in right there. And this guy... Um, perhaps we will instead get this to curve in on a nice clean curve. There we go. And we'll get this to be a nice straight connection in right here. Alrighty. And then let's figure out where we're going to get our larger connection with this road. There's a pathway right here at a bus stop. I'm thinking that's probably the best option. There's also a health center right here and a parking lot. So that's, that's not too bad. But it means that we're going to definitely take some stuff out that I was not expecting to. So let's use our new favorite road for the suburbs. <laughs> and let's go right on this node, I guess. And we'll connect up like that. And then we're going to go on to the angle of this new this section here. So, looks like we're slightly off center here. Why don't we, uh, why don't we actually just kind of change up the pace a little bit. Okay, and then now that we're in here... Uh, 
Let's do another little curve. Down, and then we'll slide right into here with a bit of a larger road. <laughs> uh, just like that. And we're on a bit of a tough angle here. There we go. Okay, so that changes things up a little bit. And uh, we'll end it here, folks. But now we've kind of pre-built for tomorrow's episode. So you can kind of see we're going to use some same kind of designs uh, and, and methods for the other side here. So we'll do that tomorrow, and we'll also work out in the Holly District. So, uh, yeah, hope you liked today's episode, folks. Uh, let's zoom in. Maybe right over here. Yeah, that works. All right, hope you have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Peace out.